Welcome. You're tuned into Tangled Threads. If you're digging our content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Hey everyone, long time lurker here, but after what went down last night, I just had to get this off my chest and maybe get some outsider perspectives. Sorry if this gets long, but I feel like if I don't write it all down, I'll just keep replaying it in my head. A bit of backstory here. My wife, Jenna, and I have been married for about seven years. Things haven't been perfect. Whose marriage is, right? But lately, things have felt off. She's been distant, glued to her phone, and our conversations have just dried up. I tried talking to her about it, but she just brushes it off, saying she's stressed about work, or that I'm imagining things. So, last night, we went out to dinner with some friends, a sort of double date. It was Jenna, me, her friend Lisa, and Lisa's new boyfriend, Mark. I hadn't met Mark before, but he seemed like an okay guy, pretty average, but Jenna seemed unusually interested in what he had to say, laughing a little too hard at his jokes. I tried to shake off the feeling, telling myself I was just being paranoid. The restaurant was nice, not too crowded, dim lighting, and we got a pretty secluded table. As the evening went on, we all had a few drinks and the conversation flowed. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary until we got to dessert. We were all sharing stories about embarrassing things that had happened to us, and the mood was light. I was in the middle of telling a story about a work trip gone wrong when I noticed something odd under the table. At first I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me because of the lighting, but as I paid more attention, it became clear what was happening. Jenna, who was sitting across from Mark, had taken off her shoe and was, well, she had her foot in the air, sort of playing footsie with Mark, but it wasn't just playful. Her toes were way too close to a certain area. I tried to keep my cool, not wanting to explode in front of our friends. I mean, what if I was wrong? But then I saw Mark's face, and he definitely looked like he was trying not to show that something was going on. The rest of the evening is a blur. I excused myself to go to the bathroom to cool down and think. When I came back, Jenna acted like nothing happened. She was all smiles, asking if I was feeling all right. The ride home was silent on my part. Jenna tried making small talk, but I couldn't. I kept seeing her foot and Mark's expression over and over again. When we got home, I confronted her. I asked her straight up if something was going on between her and Mark. As expected, she denied everything, said I was being ridiculous and that she was just being friendly and that I was reading too much into it. But it's hard to argue that playing footsie under a table with another man is just being friendly, right? I slept on the couch last night. I've been thinking about what to do all day. Is this enough to say she's cheating? I don't know. Part of me wonders if there's been more I haven't noticed. Either way, it's clear something isn't right. What would you guys do in this situation? Just let it go because it wasn't technically cheating? Or confront her again? I'm at a loss here. Thanks for letting me vent. Update. Hey Reddit, it's me again the guy whose wife was getting a little too cozy with her footsie game under the table a while back. First off, I want to thank everyone who took the time to comment on my last post. Reading through your thoughts and advice really helped me sort out my feelings and what I needed to do next. So here's what happened. After the last incident, things got pretty cold at home. Jenna acted like nothing was wrong, which just made things worse. Your comments made me realize I wasn't crazy for feeling betrayed. Someone even mentioned that if it happened once and she got away with it, it could very well happen again. That stuck with me, and I decided I needed proof before I could make any next moves. So, I got my chance last weekend. We were invited to another dinner, this time at a friend's house. I knew Mark would be there, and I had this gut feeling that if Jenna was going to pull something again, this would be it. I made sure to charge my phone and kept it handy. The evening started normally enough. We arrived, did the usual greetings, and everything seemed fine. Dinner was served, and we all sat down to eat. I strategically chose a seat directly opposite Jenna and Mark, under the pretense of wanting to hear a story our host was telling on that end of the table. Halfway through the dinner, I noticed Jenna slipping off her shoe, a move that now had all my alarms going off. I pretended to drop my napkin, and in the process, set my phone to camera mode. As I picked up the napkin, I subtly snapped a few pictures under the table. And there it was, clear as day. Jenna's foot, 
dangerously close to Mark, just like last time. I felt a mix of anger and relief. Anger that she was actually doing this again, and relief that I finally had the proof. I managed to keep my cool through the rest of the evening, though inside, I was boiling. When we got home, I confronted her. I showed her the pictures and watched her face drop. She tried to start her usual denials, but the evidence was too damning. I told her I was done. I couldn't be with someone who disrespected me like this, who thought so little of our marriage that they'd repeatedly pull something like this right under my nose. I had already spoken to a lawyer earlier that week, preparing for the worst. So filing for divorce felt like the next logical step. Jenna was upset, tried to apologize to explain, but I was over it. I felt like I had given her the benefit of the doubt the first time, and she used it to make a fool out of me again. As for me, I'm now staying with a buddy while everything gets sorted out. It's tough, not gonna lie. Seven years is a long time to just end over something like this. But thanks to your support and advice, I feel like it's the right thing. I need to be in a relationship where I'm respected, and clearly that wasn't happening. Thanks again, Reddit. You guys helped me see things clearly when I was too emotional to think straight. Now, just gotta get through this divorce and hopefully start a new chapter in my life. Wish me luck. Here are some comments he got. Comment one. Bro, you absolutely did the right thing by getting that proof and confronting her. It's clear she didn't respect the boundaries of your marriage and you've handled it as well as anyone could in your shoes. It's always tough to end a long relationship but you're choosing to respect yourself, and that's the most important thing. Stay strong and keep focusing on your own happiness and well-being. You deserve someone who respects and values you, not someone who treats your marriage like a game. Hang in there, man. Comment two. Man, I read your original post and now this update, and while I'm glad you finally got the proof you needed to move on, I gotta say, society really has done a number on us guys making us feel like we can't stand up for ourselves in our own marriages. It's almost like we're expected to just accept whatever is thrown at us to avoid conflict. You should have put your foot down the first time, but I get it. It's not always that easy, especially when you're being gaslit into thinking you're the one overreacting. Now you know better, and hopefully, other guys reading this will see they don't have to wait for more proof if they're being disrespected. Props for handling it now, better late than never. Stay strong and don't look back, brother. Jesus. There goes another train wreck. I'm sorry you had to go through that, man. Keep your head high. Anyways, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threads.